Hi, it's Polly here. We're trading Last of the Wine. The Last of the Wine, which is a great novel if you ever get a chance to do it. But that's not what we're talking about. Mongoose Traveller. So Mongoose have just brought out their new core rulebook update for 2022. Now, I keep harping on this, but I adore Traveller. Traveller is um, a beautiful go-to system. It's a 2D6 system. It's robust. It works beautifully well. It has been the bones, the meat and the sinew of science fiction role-playing since the 70s. Um, love you guys forever. Mongoose took this and ran with this and modernized this some years ago. This is the update. So this has just come out. Um, it's production value is excellent. So what is this book? Well, if you remember the original um, Traveller game, there were three core books. There was characters, there was worlds and adventures, there were starships and etc. This is all three of those books in one volume. One flim volume! Um, so it handles all of that. So it has character creation, it has equipment, combat system, it has world generation, animal generation, um, encounters, um, the tech levels, how they work, all of the equipment, um, space movement, space rules, space combat, starship design. It's got absolutely everything you need for a science fiction game in one volume. Um, this is it. Now, um, for those of you who are old traveller and haven't seen the mongoose, what does mongoose do? Well, the first thing mongoose does is, you might remember original traveller, you roll 2d6, 8 or higher, and la, you have succeeded. You have skills which are expressed as a number, and that adds to your dice roll. So if I roll a 6 on the dice, but I have a skill of 2, I add that to my dice roll, 6 plus 2 is 8, that would be a success. Lovely! So what they've got now is they've built in difficulty numbers. So that is for like a standard task. There are difficult ones or a simple one. So you're not going for an 8, you're going for an 8 or a 10 or a 6, you know, depending on the difficulty. All right, fair enough. That's a nice clarification. The other thing that they did was Original Traveler's um, combat rules required sort of multiple rolls. You rolled to hit, but then armor was a separate thing. You rolled to get past the armor. Yaddy had a squee. Um, no. Mongoose Traveller and um, its derivatives, armour has a value, weapons do damage, armour subtracts from the damage. So that's very nice. Um, as always, damage comes off your characteristics. It comes off endurance first. Uh, then you choose if it comes off dexterity or if it comes off um, strength. Um, two characteristics get to zero and you kind of... your wounded and like really helpless and crawling around three characteristics get to zero and you are looking at the potatoes from underneath um so pretty simple now the character generation <laughs> in traveler of course has a comedic uh reputation because you can die in character generation they have taken that away what you do is like always you pick a career for your character. You see if you qualify for it. They have minimum characteristics you have to get in. There's, you have to roll dice to get in. If you don't get into the one you choose, you then kind of roll a draft. You roll randomly to see where you end up, which is kind of interesting because you might end up somewhere that you are absolutely non-suited. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm a scientist. <laughs> Nothing works. Shut up and science, damn it. But um, so, there are four-year terms, you go through these, you roll on charts, you get your skills. What they have got now is there's a pre-career education, so you get some skills before you start off. You can pick specific education, so if you're wanting to go into the military, you might go to a military academy, which gives your pre-career education, of course, is all killy, stabby, hurty, maim, cutty, cutty, cutty. Um, or you could go to Naval Academy, where you're, of course, you know, learning all that cool math stuff so that, you know, the ghost of Robert Heinlein shall smile upon you. Um, and you get some skills depending on the world you came from so that you, know, you don't get that thing where, you know, I am Rex Bannon, master fighter pilot. 
you know, men, men want to be me, hmm, women want to be me, and I do not know how to drive a car. Nope. Um, <laughs> pull into the scar, starport, and I just get the bus. What? I have no idea how to turn this thing on, never been near it. <laughs> they frighten me. Um, okay, all right, so you might get, you know, zero level car driving, thank you very much. Um, they've always got a strange little thing where you decide kind of what kind of campaign you're going to play. Are you playing um, merchants, are you playing military, are you playing mercenaries, are you playing um, explorers or whatever? And there are a series of core kind of skills that the designers feel that your party will need to survive that. So once you've generated a character, your group gets together and you kind of you all roll dice and each of you takes one of these skills in turn until you've kind of emptied out this bucket of skills and it's just the way of making sure you've got the stuff that'll drive that along. Okay, interesting idea. So, so again, I guess if you've decided to take um, Sergeant Sergeant Baby Crusher McJones, whose skills are, you know, chainsaw, um, beating people to death with a chicken, and uh, 101 terrible things to do with a fusion gun, and everyone else decides they're going to go exploring, um, at least he might come out of it with, like, you know, how to drive an ATV and jack of all trades. So, so he's useful somewhere other than just, you know, oh, we find, a, we find an animal. Can I hurt it? No. No, no, we're trying to study it. Oh, we can study it when it's dead. Look, just sit in the back. Go on, get in the back. But anyway, um, so layout's very, very clean, very, very kind of tacky. Um, they've got low charts to explain how to do everything, so um, they've made it as clear as possible, as simple as possible. Now, they have clarified some of the skills. So one of the things about Original Traveller was, as they created more and more um, careers for you to go, they kind of invented some cool sounding skills, but some of them kind of were different names for the same thing or overwrote bits and pieces. So it's like um, they have clarified things and some stuff like, say, carousing, which was a great skill. I can get drunk and throw up on people at parties. Well, that's lovely, dear. So can any teenager. It clarifies what this actually is. This is more kind of social activity and it's also reading people and um, getting cues from people and it's just general socialization and coming out. This guy's dodgy. I think this guy's hiding something. So, you know, um, of course, being um, Traveller, we have classic um, aliens in it. So we've got our um, Aslan and um, Rainbow Vagar. Um, and um, so we've got all of these sorts of things in here, skills and tasks and everything. This is very well done. When they got to weapons, I don't know why the artwork on the weapons is um, slightly bizarre. So like um, they, they took their cue from that from current Dungeons and Dragons illustrations. So no one draws a sword. I've got to draw a sword with a massively, strangely jagged guard and it's got to have a twisty blade and it's like it's a rapier for god's sakes but um it's all in here everything that you ever loved you know mesh blades uh, all those wacky things are here um atvs and um but um again they've kind of clarified them out and um broadened things out according to tech level um so it's crisp it's clear um it's um in the mongoose traveler that was there were some rules that had kind of spread themselves out over some of the supplements these have been gathered sort of under one cover so this is a nice reference what i like is this is this entire role-playing game um you could run traveler with nothing more you don't need a thing it's got everything it's even got all the standard ships and so on in here it's got these scouts and your merchants and all the ships that we love are right in here um so uh, it, it's a standalone. Yes, they're going to support it and support it well, but this is what we were given with the original Black Box Traveller. Um, just kind of, you know, highly polished. Ooh, and, but we have got some alien stuff. So look, um, if you are kind of wanting to re-venture into Traveller, Mongoose, Mongoose Traveller is a really good buy. Um, you know, much as I adore the original, um, the combat system was a little bit confused and so on and of course the you know the original 70s layout um, it's it's sweet and it does the job but it's kind of hard to read this thing with its with its flow charts and you know its snazzy graphics makes it easier to access the information and um, little things like you know the armor subtracting from the damage yeah that makes for a, that makes for a nice swift 
combat mechanic. Uh, so, like I said, if you're a classic Traveller player, pick this up, uh, it'll get you playing again. Um, the moment you read it, you want to dive in. If you've been playing Mongoose Traveller, or if you've been playing any of the Cepheus engine stuff, is worth picking this up. Um, if you've been playing Mongoose, this does have um, some minor adjustments. Um, look, it's, it's nothing shockingly surprising, but they have um, they have messed around with the skills a little bit and smoothed some things down, and some extra additional bits and pieces of rules are now under one cover. Nothing earth-breaking, but this is a good buy. I like the fact that this is all of the original broad scope of those original three books of worlds and adventures, of all your equipment, of all your space stuff, of all your character generation, you're all here under one cover. So, look, it's an excellent job from um, Mongoose. Um, I think it's a must for your collection, and um, I'm really looking forward to what they come up with to keep Mongoose Traveller out there and running. Um, go and pick it up, have a look at it. It's a great buy. Cheers!